Willie Martin lived in a third-floor loft in a graffiti-riddled warehouse that contained a ground-floor chop shop. It was located on the 700 block of Stark Street, an area of urban decay that rivaled Iraqi bomb sites. I parked behind Lula's Red Firebird and transferred my five-shot Smith & Wesson from my purse to my jacket pocket. I'm not much of a gun person and almost never carry one, but I was sufficiently creeped out by the shooting and the notes that I didn't want to venture onto Stark Street unarmed. I locked the car, bypassed the rickety open cage service elevator on the ground floor, and trudged up two flights of stairs. The stairwell opened to a small grimy foyer and a door with a size 9 high-heeled boot print on it. I guess Willie hadn't answered on the first knock, and Lula got impatient. I tried the doorknob, and the door swung open. Thank God for small favors, because I'd never had any success at kicking in a door. I tentatively stuck my head in and called, Hello? Hello yourself, Lula said. And don't say no more. I'm not in a good mood. Just unlock these piece of crap handcuffs and stand back, because I need fries. I'm having a fast food emergency. Lula was across the room wrapped in a sheet, one hand cuffed to the iron headboard of the bed, the other hand holding the sheet together. I pulled the universal handcuff key out of my pocket and looked around the room. Where are your clothes? He took them. Do you believe that? Said he was going to teach me a lesson not to go after him. I tell you, you can't trust a man. They get what they want, and next thing they got their tidy whities in their pocket and they're out the door. I don't know what he was so upset about anyway. I was just doing my job. He said, was that good for you? And I said, oh yeah, baby, it was real good. And then I tried to cuff him. Hell, truth is, it wasn't all that good. And besides, I'm a professional bounty hunter now. Bring him back dead or alive with or without their pants, right? I had an obligation to cuff him. Yeah, well, next time put your clothes on before you try to cuff a guy. Lula unlocked the cuffs and tied a knot in the sheet to hold it closed. That's good advice. I'm going to remember that. That's the kind of advice I need to be a first-class bounty hunter. At least he forgot to take my purse. I'd be really annoyed if he'd taken my purse. She went to a chest on the far wall, pulled out one of Willie's T-shirts and a pair of gym shorts, and put them on. Then she scooped the rest of the clothes out of the chest, carried them to the window, and threw them out. Okay, Lula said. I'm starting to feel better now. Thanks for coming here to help me. And good news, it looks like no one's stolen your car. I saw it still sitting at the curb.